Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Donruss Football 6 box. Pick your team number 9, which sold out before number 8, in case you're looking for number 8. So 8 will be some other time, I guess. Where there's also a $1,000 break credit giveaway. If you did the, if you follow directions right here, if you bought at least two teams, you'll get an entry. Four teams gets you two entries, six teams gets you three entries, so on and so forth. We're gonna randomize those names and the top two will win $500 of break credit each. That's pretty nice. Uh, no vet common ship, but I do think we're shipping like Justin Herbert, Burrow, and Tua, like the main quarterbacks from 2020. And, uh, and then I think we've always been shipping Brady's and Mahomes in these sorts of breaks. Very big thanks to all of these people here for getting into the action. Thank you. On Tuesday, there's Adam with double last spot mojo grabbing the Cowboys and the Colts. So he gets an entry for the promo as well. Thanks everyone. Now I just grabbed a random stack of six from the uh, break we did yesterday. Remember I marked those with X's so you know that they're all from the same case. And here we go, one autograph and one memorabilia card per box on average. And looking for some of the, uh, the super short prints as well. Now, just in the interest of time, this is sort of a longer break. Um, the uh, the numbered cards I'll set aside, and our shipping team will take care of sleeving and top loading those. I'll definitely take care of the the main quarterbacks from 2021 immediately, and like the hits and and lower numbered cards, of course. Damien, are you feeling a Tom Brady 12 out of 5 auto there? Here? Does Brady have autos in this? Or are you saying Terry Bradshaw 12? The original TV 12. I think Terry Bradshaw was 12, right? Got the sounds of the Diamondbacks at Dodgers on in the background. Damien's calling a Brady out of five. That'll make, who has the Buccaneers? That'll make Sean Maddock very happy. No, Adam S. hates Terry Bradshaw because he's a New York Giants, New York, New York football Giants fan. And Bradshaw always picks the Giants to lose. Rick needs a Marino. Marino would be nice. All right, well, let's see what we got. Good luck. There's the no helmet variations, which I'll also set aside. Devontae Adams, no helmet variation, will set aside as well. There's a Justin Jefferson to 500. Ooh, that's Muncie with a homer, two run shot, gone. Nice shot, Max Muncie. Justin Jefferson uh, going to Sean Maddock in Minnesota. Uh, Jen Liu is saying the five out of five Brady auto was pulled. Well, there's four others then, right? Let's go. Let's find the other. Let's find one of the other four. We got a Jeremy Chin die cut to 75. Keelan Cole. John Elway. Patrick Mahomes, no helmet. Got Gallup and Derrick Henry, no helmet variation. There's no name variations will obviously ship out. Second year Joe Burrow will also ship out. Joe Namath, no helmet. Killing Granson, no helmet. 
and Randy Moss. Miles Jack, Alvin Kamara. It's Cornell Powell. Josh Jacobs, great win for my Raiders last night. What a game. And I thought this guy could have been a, uh, a goat in the bad way. <laughs> Not greatest of all time, but that false start could have really hurt him. There's Miles Garrett. But they won. 96 out of 299. All pro kings. And that's going to be for Glenn and the Browns. Cleveland, this is for you. Najee Harris. It's a no helmet and portrait. Has more of that canvasy sort of feel. There's Jonathan Taylor. Drew Locke to 100. Aaron Donald, no helmet. And here's our first Trevor Lawrence rookie, rated rookie card. Yeah, it was one of the craziest endings. I was... Yeah, Nick, I, you were going to log back in to see my reaction. It was all over the place. There's Great Iron Kings McCaffrey to 100. I was saying yes, no, no, yes. I when I saw Derek Carr that last play throw off his back leg, um, I was I, I was I thought that was going to be an interception for sure. <laughs> but then I saw then the camera cuts to Zay Jones. I guess if I was at the stadium, I I, I would have known what was going on. But but on TV, I was like, no, yes. <laughs> It was a range of emotions. There's Diami Brown, 161 out of 299 for the Washington football team. Lewis. Sam, have I pulled the Michael Vig error out of out of what product? There's Aaron Rodgers. And there's Amir uh, Smith Marset, 107 out of 500. Nice little color match, purple parallel for the Vikings, Sean Maddock. There's a Justin Herbert. It's a, they dropped the V in Michael Vick. It's George Kittle. No, I, I haven't seen it. There's Russell Wilson, no helmet. Maybe we'll find one here. There's Trey Sermon, who was a healthy scratch in week one, but maybe poor Raheem Mostert getting a knee surgery. He's out for the rest of the season, so maybe that means more touches for Trey Sermon. It's Justin Jefferson Gold, 46 out of 50. Another parallel for the Vikings. That'll be for Sean. And there's Trey Sermon again. All right, next box. Box two. Two out of six. Uh, yes, 
full disclosure, there was a downtown card in the first six boxes and a Marvels card in the first six boxes. The Marvel card was Trey Lance. And the, who was the, why am I blanking on the downtown card? Let's go to my Slack channel here. The downtown was Justin Fields. Oh, sorry, you were asking in the second six box. I don't know, we just went through one box. We're only one box in. So, I don't know, could this could this be a downtown Marvel insert hot case? Perhaps. Oh, and this is, oh, I maybe, um, break nine, this is break nine. This sold out before break eight. So we, so this is the second six boxes, even though it's the third six in the break order. I think I understood, understand what you meant. It's DeAndre Hopkins, no helmet, Tom Brady Patriots edition. Kyle Pitts. Here's a uh, insert here. Gridiron Kings. Zach Wilson for the Jets. Sean Maddock. Darren Waller had a great game on Monday night. And we've got a Kenyon Drake Raiders edition. 47 out of 75. He came up with some some nice catches, some nice plays as well. Nice die cut for the Raiders. That'll go to Travis. There's Ruggs. He had some nice plays too. A few nice plays here and there. Ooh. Dodger scoring runs. Travis Kels. It's a rated rookie, Simi Feko. It's Tua, no helmet variation. There's Mac Jones, the rookies. Baker Mayfield, no helmet. I, you know what, Damien? I did catch, I, I think I went to the ESPN YouTube page to check out some of the highlights from Peyton and Eli um, kind of commenting on the game. I thought it was great. And um, Patriots, Mac Jones, by the way, Corey with that one. I'm glad, and, and I was wondering, and I was doing some research, I was wondering if they were going to do any more of that. But yeah, I think they're going to do a few more games like that this year, which I think is definitely going to be a treat. I think they're pretty entertaining. Out of 100, there's Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa. Kind of hard to see the reflection there, but 18 out of 100 for the Browns. That'll be for Glenn and Cleveland. There's another no helmet, no helmet. And we have a uh, Jacob Harris to 500. For the Rams going to Oliver. DK Metcalf, no helmet. And there's our first Justin Fields rated rookie card. And we've got a Trey Lance insert here too. So Trey Lance going to Micah Ross for the Elite Series rookie insert. And the rated rookie, Justin Fields, is going to go to Chicago, Sean Maddox. Who 
Julio Jones. And we got Brandon Cooks to 500 for the Texans. Justin Tucker. Jimmy G, Joe Burrow without a helmet. And we got a passing the torch, Jalen Hurts on one side, Michael Vick on this side, 75 out of 199. For the Fly Eagles Fly, Travis Melberg. Jalen Hurts not looking too shabby in week one. Tom Brady without a helmet for the Buccaneers. Sean, no helmet variations here. Another no helmet variation. Oh, and a Zach Wilson right there. Kyle Trask. Chase Young, no helmet. And we got an autograph. The rookies, Javante Williams. For my rival, the Denver Broncos, Travis with Denver. And that is 47 out of 299. Nice design. Zach Wilson rated rookie card for Sean M as well. Kyle, you're already are you already praying for Ravens? We are we are like one and a half boxes in. <laughs> we got a long ways to go. We got another what forty minutes to go in this break. There's Saquon Barkley, no helmet. And uh, Jamison Crowder out of 82 for the Jets. Box two of six in the books. Box three. Yeah, I'm not sure what the big rookie names would be for the for the Colts and Cowboys. I mean, really, just the break, the break credits, right? That could be a big hit. Could be some old school names in here too. Some vet names, retired Hall of Famer names. Is there a Peyton Manning auto to five? Yes, yeah, that's a possibility. box Adam Thielen there's a Mac Jones Larry Fitzgerald to 100 there's Taysom Hill and Marvin Jones Jr. Mac Jones going to Corey and the Patriots
Dak Prescott, no helmet. DeAndre Swift, no helmet. Emmett Smith, TJ Watt, no helmet. And a Trey Sermon autograph. 172 out of 299 for Micah. Without Raheem Mostert, you could see a lot of carries go to Trey Sermon. That'd be good for the hobby if he does well. They've got some other options there too, but maybe he can emerge. This could be a good one to hold on to and see how he does throughout the season. C.D. Lamb, Justin Jefferson, no helmet. Trey Lance and a die cut, 5 out of 25. Carlos Boogie Basham for the Buffalo Bills. Louie with that one. And the Trey Lance also goes to Micah, rated rookie. It's not so bad as well. Khalil Mack. Elijah Mitchell could be an option, too. Vaughn Miller, no helmet variation. Ezekiel Elliott, no helmet. What happened to Ezekiel Elliott week one? He was a little anonymous there. Corey Davis, Peyton Manning, no helmet for the Colts. Cornell Powell to 500 for KC. That's uh, for Kim. Kim Kyung Hwan. Jalen Ramsey, no helmet. Larry Fitzgerald, no helmet. Tom Brady, Josh Allen, no helmet. And there's Derek Carr, what a game for him. On Monday night, 322 out of 349. Nice one for my Raiders. Raiders relic for Travis. Definitely trying not to get too ahead of myself, but this it was a really nice start for my Raiders. It was a nice way to start the season. I guess the Raiders, <laughs> if they go 1-16, in 16, I could say, well, that Ravens win was really good. All right, there's Peyton Manning, no helmet to 500 for Adam and the Colts. Tyreek Hill, no helmet. No helmet on in that case. 006 out of 100 retro series, Randy Moss, Vikings. It's for Sean M. Joe Montana without a helmet. George Kittle, no helmet. Russell Wilson without a helmet. Jalen Darden to 500 for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Sean. Yeah, 
All right, halfway through. Halfway through this uh, six box break. Boone, am I at dropping adding any players for week two? No, I'm not. I won. I have two fantasy football teams, a PPR league, which is kind of a smaller league, and a uh, and a two QB league. And both of them, I I won and did not have any major injuries coming out of it. So that, so also my waiver position is not very good because of that as well. So. I think even if I wanted any of the guys, like maybe like an, an Elijah Mitchell or a Trey Sermon, all those guys have been are picked up or will probably be picked up long before I can even get to them. One of them is a Fab League, Drew. Uh, my two QB league which is a 12-teamer, two QB keeper auction also includes a free agent acquisition budget. So, I mean, I suppose I could try to overpay for like a, I don't know, Elijah Mitchell, something like that. Could use a little running back depth, I suppose. Yeah, that's the tricky part. I, like, I think I'm. I, I don't know if I feel like someone's gonna pay more for mid. Whoever the Mostert owner is in my league is is probably gonna is probably going to uh, to put in a, a a sizable bid there. You think it's worth it? Hmm. Now you got me thinking. I, I was initially only gonna put like. Fifteen to it's a hundred dollar fab budget. I was only gonna put like fifteen or twenty dollars in there. Are you thinking? Are you thinking more? Like rest of the season, that's the guy. If I overpay for, him, I have trade bait. Maybe I should. There's Jeff Okuda. Poor Jeff Okuda to one hundred. Dak Prescott, no helmet. There's Tutu Atwell to 500. DeAndre Swift, no helmet. Van Jefferson, maybe. I'm okay on receiver. I'm pretty good on receiver. In the two in that two QB league, which is also the Fab League, I could use an extra quarterback, but I don't know how Fitz, how long Fitzpatrick's going to be out. I, I need a quarter, I need a a bye week fill in for week eleven, but it might be a little a little early to get Tyler Heineke because Fitzpatrick might be back by then. It's another thing I have to think about. I messed up in the draft. I I picked up quarterbacks that had the same bye week. Week 11. There's Mac Jones. So you own Trace Herman in a league and put in a big of 51. Same budget, $100. Wow. Well, maybe I'll have to see who the Raheem Mostert owner is and see if I want anybody from that person. So, it, so Shanahan going to Shanahan. You can't trust any of the running backs, Micah is saying. Here's Mac Jones. Yeah, Drew's, Drew's, Drew's also admitting that, that possibility. Mac Jones goes to Corey and the Pats. And here's Studio Series, Leather Kings, Justin Herbert, 91 out of 299. Two out of 299 going to the Chargers. Oliver with the Bolts. Yeah, there's so many committees in in running in, in at the running back position. There's Darnell Savage to 50 that it's kind of hard to figure out the right one. 
or the right few. Oh, Cam Newton to Washington. That'll be interesting. Right, the Rivera connection. That makes sense. Out of 100, Retro Series, Joe Montana. But at this point, I feel like... There's no helmet, Justin Jefferson. I feel like you just kind of see what Ty what Tyler Taylor Heineke, Heineke. Let's see what he has. Give give him give him a handful of games. Khalil Mack, no helmet. And there's a Michael Carter, the rookies, 145 out of 299. The rookies autograph going to Sean M. You know, I do that with my fab budget too, Drew. I always think, oh, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it until I really need it. You know, but then I'm then I'm wondering, why didn't I just get the big pickup for from like week two, week three? Because by the time, especially in like a 12-team league, by the time you get to like 12-team or larger, you know, once you get to like week five, six, seven, like... I mean, who's really emerging at that stage of the season? 31 out of 75, Joe Tryon, die cut for the Buccaneers. Oh, the Mosaic Phil sold out, nice. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, Mostert's, Mostert's out. There's Peyton Manning. Yeah, he said on his IG that he's getting knee surgery out for the rest of the year. So, But then, yeah, the, 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 the numerous options at running back, though, for, for the Niners also makes me a little nervous. There's Gronk, no helmet. Trey Lance, rated rookie. Gronk again to 500 for the Buccaneers. Well, speaking of the Niners, there's Trey Lance. So all these could add up. Maybe get some of these graded, Micah, and see see what happens. All right, two boxes to go. Thanks, everybody. Fab is just, uh, so instead of the usual waiver process, Damien, where it's like usually it's the person with the worst week has the top waiver priority and you just go down the list, with a, a Fab is free agent acquisition budget. So you just basically get a budget. You know, you get like most of the time it's usually $100 of like fake dollars, right? And you just bid on the players that you want. So, for example, let's say for, we're using the, the Niners running backs, for example, right? So let's say we have, like, Trey Sermon. You know, you could bid $10 on Trey Sermon, and I could bid $15 on Trey Sermon, and obviously the person with $15 will win. I think if the money is the same, it'll, it'll go to waiver priority. You know what messed me up earlier today, Drew? The trace uh, in my so in my my two quarterback fab auction league. I we play on NFL.com, and um, Elijah Mitchell is under Eli Mitchell. So I was looking up Elijah, and I was like, why cannot why can I not find you know why cannot find this player? It's under Eli. I looked up Mitchell instead, and it was under Eli. Yeah, 
Yeah, I hadn't heard that either. All right, next box. It's Tyree Kill. There's a Trevor Lawrence. And a Lamar Jackson no helmet variation. They're pretty common, but it's still a variation. There's Trevor Lawrence. That's Elite Series Rookies insert for the Jags. That'll be for Sean. Correct. Yes, Damien. Once you spend that entire budget, you can't get any more free agents off your uh, free agent wire. So that creates... It's just another layer of, of strategy. There's a Alejandro Villanueva, 29 out of 75 die cut for the Steelers, Sean. Odell Beckham Jr. Or I guess, sorry, yeah, not off waivers, but after you run, you can still get free agents. That's how most leagues do it. So after waivers run and the whole auction process goes, then everyone else is up for grabs. I think that's how my league does it. That's how, I think that's how most leagues are set standard. There's Mahomes, no helmet. Derrick Henry, no helmet. Joe Namath, no helmet, great hair. Jalen Mills, press proof to 100 for the Eagles. And we got the rookies, Zach Wilson. Jets, Sean. Right, Damien. So let's say you're trying to add Jamar Chase. In, a, in, in most leagues, in standard le in most leagues where you don't have that fab budget, it'll just be prioritized usually based on how you did the week before or by win-loss record or something like that. There's Alvin Kamara. And there's Canton Kings, Steve Young. 120 out of 299. So the fab budget can now... Add a layer of so it's not just you know the worst player or the worst yeah the someone with the worst team can just get the best players every week. There's a little extra layer of strategy there. There's Steve Young, Micah Ross with the Niners. Right, and yeah, that eliminates the strategy Drew's talking about. Some people would tank week one just so they can have the best uh, waiver wire position and just get the best player from week two or three. So it kind of eliminates that. So it requires a little more thinking, but, but I'm okay with that. I think over the years, that's uh, Elijah Moore, different Elijah, to 500 for the Jets. That's why a number of years ago, me and my friends in that two QB league switch to auction because we just we just needed like an extra layer of challenge there's 2-2 Atwell to 15 for the Rams that's for Oliver and once we started doing auction we really never looked back I think there's a there's a great challenge there Ooh, not Peyton Manning but how about Andrew Luck 3 out of 10 signature marks Andrew Luck Colts, Adam S, last spot mojo. 70% of the time, it hits 100% of the time. That's not bad. He was pretty good. Christian McCaffrey without a helmet. Aaron Rodgers, no helmet. Right 
Got a Justin Herbert. No helmet. And we've got a Matthew Stafford to 500 for the Rams. That's for uh, Oliver. Oliver has the LA teams. George Kittle, no helmet. Russell Wilson, no helmet. And the final box coming up. How often does uh, what tried to trade didn't couldn't trade Mojo in a random team break? I don't know. I haven't really kept track of that because I feel like uh, I feel like trade didn't happen. Trades don't really happen too often, so I don't really keep track of that. I loved well. A Drew's asking. Speaking of the man, speaking of Manning, what what do you guys think of the Manning commentary last night? First off, I had no idea that was happening. Otherwise, I think I might have watched that broadcast instead of the main broadcast. You know, I think I think Peyton is pretty entertaining. Um, and I enjoy, I enjoy, I don't have to see the, the re most recent season, but I enjoy watching Peyton's places, so on and so forth. And then I thought, boy, are they going to do this every week? And look, I think they're going to do it a handful more. I think they're going to do it week two and three. And then maybe a few more times after that later in the year. I liked it a lot because I, I was watching, I was watching highlights of it. Um, some clips of it on YouTube yet from yesterday and like to see the genuine reactions that, that they were giving. And obviously Peyton is like a football savant at Eli too. And that was really cool. And I think at the end in the overtime, they had Russell Wilson on as a third guest um, in the third chair. And, you know, and, and they were just talking just like as if, I don't know, it just kind of felt that that might be the closest yeah, that might be the closest, Drew, that we would get to maybe sitting in a film film room with those guys. You know what I mean? Or maybe like watching, I don't know. They, it, just, it was, you know, the Manning brothers are pretty, pretty chill. So it just felt like you were just sitting with them watching a football game. But they weren't being too overly analytical. But it just felt like, hey, you're watching a football game with someone who knows football. But also they can talk to you without getting too technical about football. They can just talk about football really well. So, I don't know. I really liked it. I'm looking forward to more broadcasts of it. You know, and Peyton is just so good about explaining the game anyway. So even if he spits out a bunch of different crazy plays at you, here's Peyton Manning right here. You know, like, it, it just, it just feels, but he explains it. He's a good teacher. Obviously, he's been in the game for a long time, so, and it's, He's, he's probably able to, he probably has a lot of friends that don't really care too much about football, you know what I mean? So he's, but he's able to talk, explain it like, like, like we're five, you know? Because I can't pretend to know, like, I feel like I know a decent, decent amount about the game, but I can't pretend to know about plays or anything like that, you know? I'm not a coach. It's Roquan Smith die cut. But yeah, I really liked it. I just like, I like the feeling of being able to say, correct. Well, yeah, it feels a lot different than Romo just saying, hey, they're going to run X, Y, Z here. But I wonder if Ro if Tony Romo was away from the broadcast booth and was allowed to do it the way Peyton, with the, you know, in that format that Peyton and Eli did it. I mean, I think Romo could be really good at that format too. Because, you know, when you're on broadcast television, there's so many different you know, there's there's so there's such a different way to do it because you're speaking to a more broad audience, you know, a, a much more casual audience. There's a nice uh, portrait, Mac Jones, for the Patriots, Corey. So, there you go. Nice Mac Jones. I like the portrait design too. It's kind of has that canvasy sort of look in the background. Yeah, Russell Wilson was surprisingly a lot more smoother than I thought. That's probably a, that's probably an audition too, stuff like that. 
You know, when like Ray Lewis is on, that's probably like a secret audition to see, hey, how you doing on camera? But yeah, I, yeah, Brady and Manning together would be pretty great. I'm sure they'll definitely want to do that in the future. But I thought it was great. It was unique. They tried something new, and I think it worked. It might not have worked with just anybody, but definitely with the chemistry of the Manning brothers. You know, I think there's Tony Gonzalez on the other side, Travis Kels to 199. That's for Kyung Wan. Anyway, nice dual rally. Oh yeah, well that's right, that's right. Drew, Drew, Drew's a, a Seahawks fan, so Russell Wilson. Nice Trey Turner, good home run. Yeah, there he is, destined for the booth. There's Rondale Moore to 500. Adam S. misses Eli Manning in New York. Yeah, I think sometimes, especially towards the end of the career, Eli Manning maybe didn't get the, maybe was was hard done by. Maybe they were a little too eager to say get rid of Eli Manning. Nice Justin Fields, 65 out of 100. That's a Gridiron Kings insert. Sean with the Bears. Right. Why, yeah. Exactly. Why wouldn't they want to do do broadcasting? Some. I mean, obviously, some players just aren't very good at it, Jeremy. But yeah, if I could, if you if you could do broadcasting, absolutely, get into the booth, make it happen. You know. But some people. I mean, we saw Jason Witten in the Monday Night Football booth, and he wasn't as automatic as people thought he might be. Here's Retro Series autograph, Paul Krause, twenty five. For Sean and the Minnesota Vikings. Here's a Trevor Lawrence Gridiron Kings insert. Also for Sean and the Jaguars. Jalen Hurts without a helmet. There's Deshaun Watson to 50 for the Texans. Drew Brees, let's see how Drew Brees does, Brees does in the booth, in the analyst chair. Tony Romo, though, was a real natural. There's Saquon Barkley, I feel like he was just there from the get-go. And a press proof, red parallel, Justin Fields for Chicago. And the last bit here. Tom Brady, no helmet. Buccaneers. Devonta Smith, Kadarius Tony. Rivers, Favre. No helmet, Randy Moss. Patrick Mahomes to 500. And that, my friends, is that. Let me give away some money. And then we'll do a quick little recap. So, how much money are over? Oh, giving away a thousand dollars of break credit. Look at that. If you bought at least two teams, that's one entry. Four teams, two entries. Just buy an even number of teams. Half of those become entries. And the top two, five hundred bucks of break credit each. Let's sort by column A by your first names. Let's blow that up a little bit here. So Adam bought two teams. That's an entry. Brody, two teams. That's an entry. Jia Lam, two teams, one entry. Corey with just one. Glenn with just one. Joe, two teams, one entry. Louis, two teams, one entry. Micah, two teams. Oliver, two teams. Rick with two teams. Sean Breen, two teams. Sean M, six teams. That's three entries. And Travis bought four teams. That's two entries. So give me a sec here. Let me just spot check this really quick. So I got Travis's two, Sean M's three, Sean B, Rick T, Oliver, Micah, Lewis, or Louie, Joe, J, 
Shao, Brody, Adam. All right. Good luck. Let's gather these names here. New dice, new list. Again, some good amount of break right here. Top two, $500 each. Let's roll it, randomize it 10 times. Five and a five, hard 10. Top two after 10. One, two, good luck. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time after 10. We got Oliver and Sean. Congrats to the both of you. $500 of break credit going your way. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Oh, recap. Can't forget the recap. Here's a recap. This is Pick Your Team 9, filled before 8. And a quick recap. Some of the main quarterbacks, the autographs, the hits. Nice Andrew Luck back there. Zach Wilson, Trevor Lawrence, Trey Lance, Michael Carter. Got a Trey Sermon auto for the Niners. Nice dual relic there. Justin Fields. Some inserts. Some pretty nice stuff. That's Diami Brown, Trevor Lawrence, and we started off with that Miles Garrett for Cleveland. There you have it, boys and girls. And then plus tons of numbered cards, the no helmet variations and whatnot. All sorts of great stuff. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.